What's up, you guys? Um, welcome to Feel Only once again. I know it's been a while since we've seen each other. Um, haven't been really talking about NASCAR. I didn't really post about the Wednesday race for the Cup Series, but I did really enjoy the um, Xfinity Series race with uh, Chase Briscoe. Um, that was really emotional for Chase Briscoe. And there's a photo of like Kyle Busch sitting on the side, side of the pit wall or the interior pit wall. And then there's Chase Briscoe celebrating or taking that meal, like crying. And it's a really cool like perspective of like, you know, winning and losing. I think that's one of the cool, cool things about that race was that it almost looked like that 2003 Darlington finish, almost. Not exactly, but like those sequence of events from uh, those two races, if you put them side by side, uh, you can definitely, um, see that it's very similar um other than that we had some controversy with chase elliott getting in the middle figure to kyle bush um looks like kyle bush did not clear himself in time to get behind chase elliott causing him chase elliott to get turned and to the inside wall causing chase elliott to lose the race possibly and um that rain came in just after that caution which made denny hamlin win the uh wednesday race um some more back news from that uh sunday race that we did um kevin harvick won that race as well we had um jimmy johnson wrecking at the last lap of stage one i was really interesting i wasn't really a huge fan of that race i felt like um it felt like track position was more important um if you had the top lane on restarts you'd basically be given a free pass because the bottom lane was just horrible. And then I just don't really see or saw anything that entertaining. If you had a run with worn tires, you would usually just get that um, advantage. Who gets back, who gets more back into the throttle better than other drivers? And that's usually how like, you know, tire wear works out is like, you have to kind of just fed it at throttle more. So whoever was more in throttle in mid corner, who had, whoever had better mid corner speed, would actually get that advantage. And then um, on the Xfinity race, I felt like it was more in the driver's hands, especially in the last couple of lap. The um, the last restart um, with uh, Chase Briscoe and Kyle Busch. That's how the the mile and a half need to be races where you have drivers in control of like of the race car more than just tires and aerodynamics because we have a small spoiler with a lot of a lot more horsepower in the Xfinity while in the uh, Cup Series it's kind of just um, like low downforce, low horsepower, and more con and like it's just like you're basically on rails. Uh, there's a lot of NASCAR NASCAR YouTubers who have uh, more detail about that situation, more detail about the race. Be sure to check out um, like Out of the Groove, um, Udo Radman's getting back into to it. Those are like my top two favorite like NASCAR YouTubers that like getting really more in depth. I just want to give my two cents because um, I really enjoy the Xfinity race. I think it needs to be really looked at. Um, we are going to the 600 for the NASCAR on Fox this Sunday. So that will be a really interesting who will be a player in that with no practice, no qualifying. And with this schedule, it's kind of like very grueling. You kind of have 11 races, like almost like seven races in like 11 days, I think. So I think this is like the third race in like 11 days. Um, in the upcoming schedule, it'll be total of 11 days, I believe. Uh, other news, if you haven't heard already, Matt Kenseth is back into the 42 car, replacing Kyle Larson. That's basically the big news. And um, that's probably the biggest news of all. And then also in our news, Jimmy Johnson is still considering this year, 2020, to be his last year in the Cup Series. So I'm kind of sad about that as well. Um, I think it's sad that none of the fans will, fans will be able to see Jimmy Johnson. So I think Jimmy Johnson needs to reconsider that. That's just my opinion. 
but I am not Jimmy Johnson. I am not seven time. I am not the greatest of all time in NASCAR possibly. So I can't really say for him that he should make 2021 his last season, but I would like for him to make 2021 the last season. And this angle is not good. So I'm probably gonna do an audio version of this only. So um, yeah, uh, stay safe in quarantine. Um, if you are not in quarantine, like in the states of Georgia or in countries like Taiwan, who have actually did a really good job with it, you guys can look that up yourselves. Please stay safe in any country you are, any city, any state you are. Um, please, if you need to, go outside. But if you don't have to, please stay home. Be safe. Um, do what you need to do to be safe. Okay, guys? Be sure to check out webbwr.com. Um, that move cotton underwear, dogs, lace, boxers, briefs. Roman 15 is a discount code. Use it at checkout, and I will see you all next time, the next few only. Peace.